Well, I came because the International Church Society of Canada was having this uh, uh, wonderful celebration last night of uh, my great-grandfather, and they asked me if I would come and speak about uh, his hobby of painting and how it made him a more effective leader. Well, he learned lots of skills from painting. He fine-tuned others, and uh, he was able to use some of those skills, uh, particularly in 1940, uh, when you know, defense of the realm was absolutely the number one priority. I think lots of people can learn things from painting. It's not just leaders. I think everybody in their own lives can learn uh, from painting or from something that's our painting. Churchill's hobby was painting. There are other hobbies that people have, other things that they do as a place that they can go to uh, for solace, for security, uh, to regain perspective and move on uh, with their lives. So in 1929, uh, Winston Churchill arrived by uh, boat in Quebec City and he then traveled right across the uh, country to uh, Vancouver and uh, when he uh, he stopped on the way uh, in the, the Rocky Mountains and he painted uh, at Emerald Lake and also at Lake Louise and the funny story about uh, the the morning that he painted the two paintings at Lake Louise was that he was traveling with his nephew and he got his nephew uh, to row him out in a boat uh, all around to find the right spots and he made the nephew leave him despite the fact there were all sorts of wild bears that were rumored to be there around the lake and the nephew wrote uh, afterwards how relieved he was every time he came back to find that his uncle hadn't been mauled uh, by a, a wild bear around Lake Louise and we got two lovely paintings from that.